Hold on, man. That shit tripping. All right, I'm good. Good. All right. Shalom, shalom, y'all. Shalom. Hebrew is the Apostle of Oklahoma. I get the Apostle of Down for Babylon the Great. First thing first is to the East. Give our praise glory to Yahweh. Ah, Shem. Yahweh Shai. Ah, Shem. We're talking to us. The Tanner who returns to the Heavenly Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Double honors to the Apostle of Elders Great Millstone. And Shalom. Your sister, brother, say this is true. Say, sir. Shalom. Your sister, brother, you know, study and listen and show yourselves the proof. So they come to you today. Talk to today, y'all, Shirley. What's the big thing? They say the BRICS nations, the BRICS nations currency is now online. When it's going online, what's it going to the U.S. dollar? U.S. dollar, you know, is going to crash. The petrol dollar. Other countries said they're not using the U.S. dollar anymore to sell oil. I just heard uh, China use the digital yuan to buy uh, oil. Saudi Arabia without the US dollar. That's that that's that downfall then signal, man. So I'm gonna open up this right here. It's Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinder cease, because there are few, and those that look out the windows be darkened. You know, so right there it said the grinders of the house, you know, should tremble. That's what's happening right now. That goes to your politicians right now, your lower level, you know, luminaries. You know that the elites don't pull the plug on the place. So then you got the ones in the middle, the politicians, they gotta, you know, try to hold the ship together while it's sank. And they trembling, because they already know the chaos is about to come out. Because the little man, you know, your everyday working class eating by he gonna go eight shit when he find out the dollar ain't no good, no more pension. When they all collapse, because they ain't got bumps, they're gonna just go crazy, you know, or at least act like they're gonna go crazy. And it's in the grinder seat. All these jobs are laying off right now. Why are they laying off? Hey, look, they closed it down. They call that downsizing. They downsizing. You know, plus, like, AI is taking over jobs. So, like, we don't need all these little laborers no more. So, if you're shutting down jobs, uh, 3,000 here, 5,000 here, 10,000 here. Hey, anybody got no jobs? That's why you see all these tents popping up. Like, in cities like L.A., people getting bummed out. They're losing jobs. You know? And they said, uh, and they look out their window and it be dark. They look out the window, be dark and why? Because there ain't no future in America. You got youngsters like, I ain't going to work no more. Why well, go to work? They starting to figure it out. Like, I go to work, I can't pay my bills. I might as well live in my car. I'm an RV. You know, they downsizing too. They getting out the system. They don't want to go to war. Why they don't want to go to war? I'm not about to go fight for a country that's going to die anyway. They like, I'd rather go to jail. So they, they're not about to fight. Everybody keeps saying, you look on TikTok. YouTube video, everybody saying like, hey, America not looking good. Not looking good. Only the idiots are still saying that. Anybody with a piece of brain is now like, hey, this place is true. So now everybody's scrambling. You know, you got uh, what's that, doomsday prep? Survival skills going into play. Everybody now like, oh, should I gotta get my tent, my outdoor stuff together? That's that's kind of like a, the big thing now. A lot of people on YouTube blowing up off of that. But, uh, I, I just got a point. The, um, the extension they did for the government closing that shit is like Wednesday. The 45 days is up on Wednesday. So that's happening next next week, too. Yeah, and I know them doing them little short extensions, that let you know they about to put a place, the plug on this place. Like, usually, you know, you and your talk about that. You know, they want the big thing. Now it's like, they make it a big talk about it. At some point, they're going to say, you know what? We're not extending it no more. Shut down. We're going digital. Uh, if you don't go get this micro CHIP, you go in this camp. This is what they call it, a global reset. They got a new world order coming to play. At some point, they're going to go for that move. They're going to be like, hey, man, you got to, hey, we did it over here. Oh, you ain't got no juice. You better go get some juice. Then go get that micro CHIP. Then go to your little cubicle or whatever little place you might be staying. When they say, uh, you own nothing to be happy, that's the goal. That's why the, the gas price, the petrol dollar going to go up. It's going to go up to like $20. Twenty dollars a gallon. That's so you won't drive nowhere. They don't want you to drive nowhere. They want you to be stationary with no lights, no gas, no water. And they got systems set up, little camps. They got that, and they want you to deviate from where you at to the camp. Kind of like a what they switching. Kind of like you open up a cage for one animal. You want to go in the other cage, you open it up, and you kind of poke them to get out of that. Go in the other. One. That's how they got to do the American people. That's how they do it when they herd cattle. Ah, that's, that's a good way to put it, like the herd cattle. 
We heard everybody up in the little camps where you're gonna have a little number, a device, and you're gonna be living like you know. The like camps is gonna be the only place they're gonna have resources. That's how they're gonna make people voluntarily just move. Like like here where we at in Oklahoma, they don't have no 15 minute city plan, you know. The closest ones is like Denver and, and Dallas. And to get everybody to move here, they're gonna have you know poison the water, there ain't no food here. You know, but your yeah. stomach growling, you better get down to Dallas. <laughs> yeah. God, that's not gonna do it. You better get on that bus. You busting them out like a shuttle. You know what I'm saying? They busting the migrants, they're gonna bust your butt out to <laughs> account to get resources, man. And then look. You know, Jay, now we know this why I think they got no 15 minute Oklahoma. You know, we gonna be living off the land. You know, we got a lot of land out here. Yeah. I'm trying to live off the land. They gonna come with that's where the strike team come in. Come on, God, are you over here making a fire? Right. You got a camp now. They gonna hey, they gonna outlaw all that. You can't make no campfire. You can't edit it alone. You can't collect no rainwater. Yeah. You collect no rainwater. They gonna make it illegal to do those things. That way you doing it, they gonna come try to, you know, throw you in that camp anyway. You're gonna go to the boss the camp. You really think about it, Oklahoma got a history of bucking up against the system anyway. You really think about it, all of the history, right. like the Tulsa race wise. You got the natives that, you know, they, they all, it, it's a, a rich history. So I can see why East All Eater will have to take uh, drastic measures against certain countries, against certain states. All right. Let me finish that. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 4. And the door shall be shut up in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Woo, that part's going to live right now. You know, I said the door shall be shut up in the streets. I'm hearing store closes every day of a news feed. Store closed. And they, what they say, oh, theft. And they use the people to go in there and do snatch and grabs. They busting them and putting them in vans to do snatch and grabs. Then they can close down their business and then say, you know, hey, we're not opening up no more. So all the stores are closing down. So they, what they call it, liquidating your assets. They liquidate. They like we be closing up or cashing out. You on a machine that ain't giving out no money. They cashing out. So it said the grinding. The sound of the grinding is low. There's less workers. They're going to earlier. You know when uh, the grinding ceases, because the workers be few. So the grinding gonna be low. Eventually there's gonna be no businesses, no jobs, and that's when that micro CHIP gonna kick in. Cause you get a uh, like an allowance, and they're gonna give you so many uh, credits. You gotta spend within a month, or they expire. You know, so they're gonna do it like that. Everything probably gonna be like a uh, big old Amazon. You gotta order it from a place. Uh, and it said, uh, "Peace will rise with the voice of the bird." I mean, you be waking up early in the morning, four in the morning, five in the morning, cause you ain't got nothing to do. So when they can move Friday, you ain't got nothing to do. They probably gonna have an issue. Got no job. Yeah, no job. They gonna have a little certain amount of drugs, right. whatever you need, your food. You know, you get your little, your little, your little rations. Make your rations. You get high, you watch whatever designated TV they want you to watch, LGBT programming, you know, certain cartoons, and they be your day. Every day you watch that. I might have you running on a bike or something, you know, like a little living like a little gerbil. Uh, you go back to your little living quarters, you know. And they said all the daughters of the music should be brought low. Oh, man, everybody telling me that. Everybody I aging up, music is garbage. You know, the music now is a bunch of, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, there's a bunch of sound effects. These children, they on drugs. Uh, he saw the, you know, you know, ravaged them up, knocked off they little, you know, knocked these little post chakras off, knocked, knocked the buttons off, and now he can't make good music. He doped up, and his whole sexuality's picked up. So now they can't make good music. They can't make quality music. Esau don't want quality music. You got underground artists that's still good, you know, but that ain't what Esau pushing out. Now he's pushing out garbage because he wants people to have a garbage mindset. He wants to listen to. You know, Migos, Lil Nas X, oh, especially with the female Eve rap music, uh, uh, Nasty uh, Red, Stanky Hana. They had you eating, uh, eating boo boo. What, what was that politician or president? But it was a quote that said, We don't want a generation of thinkers. We want generations of followers or something like that. And yeah, that's, I, know talking about, I don't know who it was, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. See, that, that, that's, a, uh, that's basically the, the logic and the mindset of this system. America, that was one of the Rothschilds that said that. One of the Rothschilds, see, that's what I thought. See, and, it, and that goes back to the guys of this world, you know. And they, and they, they basically said, we don't want. If you don't want a generation of thinkers, then now you can see why we have this music the way that, the way it is now. And that, and it created people that don't, they don't think for themselves. 
That's why that natural born father was going into the two thirds. Well, you made a good point. I, they don't want thinking and critical thinking because that'll disrupt their plan. They want people that just react right. and they're uh, obedient. Mm-hmm. What the government say, they narrative, roll with that, go with that, and all will be fine. And we already know what the end goal of that role is to take everything from you and put a micro CHIP in your body. You know, that's the end goal. That's the mark of the beast. You know, once they do that, they don't care about whatever you do. Now you're no good to you. How about you? I'm shy. I got you. Basically, like a walking zombie. And then people can't, there used to be a bunch of rebuttal to that, a bunch of uh uh-uh, uh, but now we got Elon Musk with the neural link. He got thousands of people lining up to get it. And now, with that being said, more information about it is coming out. I'm looking like, oh, no, ain't nowhere in the world. I want that. To me, that's like death, you know, why you living. Because I found that Akim on the micro CHIP that he got the neural link, it got microfiber. And before the chip, Go to the CHRP, go in your head, the microfibers go off in your brain. You know, it's sick certain, your, your, what they call it, neural pathway. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man, heck, nah. I'm like, so with that being said, once you get it in you, ain't no getting that out. It's like, that's like parasitic, man. You know? Like a virus. Yeah, so once they get in, I say, worse than a virus. You can hear from a virus, but you put some microfibers in your brain. Ain't no way, can't nobody just come in and snatch to that box without, without giving you certain death. That's damage. Once they go in, hey, you, you, you stuck with that one, you know. So, that, that's basically like they're going to be like unalive in you while you're still alive. You're basically going to be a zombie. And if you put that in your head, what prevents you from getting hacked? Or what prevents him from controlling, you know, what you do and what you say? That's some high tech sorcery right there. He saw doing with that technology. Because once you put that in your head, man, he can program you to go do this or do that or do a hit. Or I can just make you go to the camp I want you to go to. You, you program, you know, your thoughts. You know, you put thoughts in your head. So that's hey, and that's on the books. Remember back then, you used to scoff at that, like, uh-uh, they ain't doing that. Man, you smoking too much weed, man. That's that good stuff, man. They ain't never doing. Now it's all, it's, it's in reality now. They talking about the news. You got people getting it in their bodies. We speak right now. They're getting it, and they got another one that's gonna go in your hands. You know, they got a, a micro set key go in your hand. You got one to go in your head, you know? Once you get those, and it's all gonna go, it's, it's monetary too. That's why, hey, that's why I know the other camps is off, it's monetary. Because once you get that micro CHIP, it's the money going digital. So with the money going digital, it's gonna go all hand in hand with your micro CHIP. That way they're gonna know your heart rate. They're gonna know uh your, your, your sugar levels, <laughs> you know? They're gonna know, uh, Nothing, your blood pressure, all that information gonna be right there on their desk. They ain't gotta go nowhere to get it. Go ahead. Hey, another thing they were saying, like, um, once you get that everybody chipped in the 15 minute cities, they can actually tell you to go do a task. Like, say, for instance, they can say, um, we want these five people to go down here and dig this ditch. And because you know, they got GPS and all that, they gonna know, you know, for you to get your credits for that day if you actually went down where they told you to do. And they're going to be able to tell by your vitals if you're exerting yourself a certain kind of way, if you actually completed the task or not. Yeah, There's so many movies and episodes <laughs> with that. Like, I, and I seen a Star Wars show about that, too, man. I think it was, uh, I can't remember which show it was, but they but they had, like, a bracelet. They had a work assignment that came up with yeah. the computer screen. So, hey, it, it's out there. It's the reality. He thought he was going to make it a reality, man. You probably watch Raised by Wolves. while he eating. So he ain't gonna let a captive enterprise off. He'll get it going 
the beat system to be going, but that's when Esau gonna get messed up. It's in the process of him giving out the micro CHIP. You got children of Israel that's gonna refuse that. You got uh people of his own nation gonna refuse that. It's gonna be a minor few, you know, but that's gonna be the, the, the whole that's gonna just bust up his whole plan. But Yabasha said he ain't gonna let Esau just have the the whole, you know, the whole reason to get everybody with that. The Lord knows what we're gonna be going through. That's why he's gonna let Esau do it. And that's just to get the people that's already going with it. Like the people that already got the juice, they're gonna get the micro CHIP. The people that what they say don't want no smoke. People that don't want no smoke, they're gonna go get it. They don't want to, you know, rock the boat. They're gonna Esau gonna say, go get it, they're gonna go get it. That's this their program by the system already. You know, FEMA got a what's that, the color list? The yellow, blue, red, and black. Ain't that the colors they had on there? I think so. Yeah, red, blue, yellow, and black. Yeah, but if you yellow coat it, which that means you got juice in your body, you know, they ain't gonna bother you. They're just gonna give you the little news flash, go get this. They're gonna go get it. The people that's uh what's that? The, the red and red. the blue. I think blue can be uh what they call it, re educated. I, I really don't know how to color this thing no more than I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna do a little about red and right. black. Uh, red is a hey, terminate. Red yeah. and black is terminate. Okay, that's what I thought, yeah. And black was like the ones that got the means. Red was like uh, preachers, religious leaders, things like that nature. Right, right. Red and black is straight off. They cannot be, you know, yellow is going to go in easy. And I think blue is the one that, like, you'll give a chance to be re-educated. Like, they'll, they'll work with you if you're on the blue list. Right. But red and black, you done. Like, those are the ones that they, they declared them enemies of the state. You know, which we're working for doing a lesson on that. And plus, it's hard to even find that. A lot of that stuff gets scrubbed off the internet. Yeah, I got a. Um, this is what the brother from South Carolina was the first person I've seen um, come out with this. But it's a, uh, an animation short. It's be called Beyond the Reset. And it's essentially um, animation showing you what life is going to be like, you know, in a 15 minute city. It's, it's a real good you know, look. I, I would highly recommend everybody go and watch this. Again, it's called Beyond the Reset, animated short. And it shows, dude. You know, in his little apartment, you know, 200 square foot apartment and how, you know, he, he got like a work at home job. And like how you were saying, it's going to be like Amazon delivering everything, and how he ordered all of his food and everything, and how he went outside and uh, he didn't have his mask on and the droid showed up and, and zapped his ass and threw him back in his little shack. It was, it was a really good watch. It's, it's um 24 minutes. But um, yeah, the brother from South Carolina, the elder, was the I did, first I did, person. I did a lesson, uh, covering that too. You know what I'm talking about? It's, it's called Beyond the it. Reset. I did a lesson with that in there. I used it for a lesson. I think I think I put the link to the uh, the whole. They can watch it all the way through. Yeah, it's probably about two or three weeks ago. Yeah, I did. I did a lesson on that. And that's where that's where he saw trying to take you to the master plan, where we can see the to that coming in now that's why the dollar's collapsing world war three coming in you know all wars the bank of war and all of this is just basically do a, a reset to put everybody in a, a a new system to where you have no rights right now you got a little bit of rights that he allowed the edomites to have and now everybody got them and now he don't like that no more because you like i don't want jake to have rights <laughs> they should be a hard bond of slavery so now he got to do a reset and then they messed up they try to cover they they the, the mistakes they made See, right now, the mistake they made, we heard in this new system, we got the Bible. That's where he messed up at. We went right back into the scriptures and to the prophecy, and now we, we back in our lot. See, Esau didn't erase history as good as he thought. So now the global reset is him trying to erase history better. He want to get rid of statues. He want to get any real traces of, you know, that's why they call it, what, the critical race theory? He don't want to talk about slavery no more. He going to say none of that happened. You just hear uh, Petri Dish, Big Bang. Um, different colors for whatever reason you're gonna make, but ain't gonna be no look up all oh, we were slaves and you know, uh, Black Wall Street. He want to take all that history out. You don't want people knowing that the Bible will be done, no more religion. You know, they're gonna get rid of all that. Ain't no First Amendment rights, none of that. You know, so he wants to get rid of all of that and have us in a system to where you just obey, you just do what the government say to you. know, you don't buck up, have nothing like you ain't even gonna know it's another system. All you gonna know is the system. That's how Esau wanted. You know, you just like a cog in a the machine. They said it only takes like two generations to do that. 
I believe you. They said they get rid of all of us. Like, I think they had to do, like, I taught my children. So, like, our children, like, our children, our, yeah. like, our children, they would have to get rid of them. Or, like, if their children, children, then they'd be able to, you know, they wouldn't know nothing. You know, that's one of the laws, too. That's one of the laws of the Christian, because they, that's what right. we're supposed to do. We're supposed to teach our children the laws of Yahweh and Yahweh's God. And that's All one right. of the main reasons why they want to get rid of the word is because of that. And that's and that's another thing is uh if you watch that uh what is it uh Aaron Russo that video called Aaron Russo was revealed with the mark of the BT he explained it it was like a ten minute video that popped up and he explained why the Rockefeller uh gave uh women the right to uh vote and to have jobs is because they wanted to indoctrinate the children and it's why they it's the, the main reason why we have that alphabet agenda inside the school is, you know it's a, it's an indoctrination process. Their system, the, uh, the Edomite system. Another, not about the system. another uh, example is when they, they sent all of uh, Gad's children up to Canada to those schools and they essentially separated them from their elders right. so that they couldn't continue teaching them their ways and they sent them up to Canada and to those residential schools so they basically can teach them to basically be um, clones of, of Edomites. Right. I, I remember uh, when I went to a Native American school, they, they had documentaries about that all throughout their school. And, and basically, he thought he was kidnapped their children. That's and exactly what happened. And was killing them. You remember yeah. how they, they first, about like a year ago, they started finding all of them bodies up under them old schools. And Gad was up there burning down churches, out right. of fish grease up there. It's a lot of it's a lot of northern tribe up there in the Washington area, north on the border of Canada. It's a lot of northern tribe, South Dakota, South North Dakota. But he got a lot to pay for, man. Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. You want to uh, bring out the article or something? Else? I was gonna get back to the script. All right, so talk about it. how like. Well, the whole point of this is that Esau got a new system coming online. It's going to be, it's going to deal with the, the monetary. It's like, we say, mess with somebody's money is the best way, you know, to control somebody and control the food supply. You control the food supply, you control the money supply, you control people. So that's the two controlling factors that this MOTV is going to have, you know. And if they can't do it with physical cash being, you know, in circulation right now. But the physical cash, it still gives you a sense of privacy that they don't like. Like, I can give somebody $20 and we saw that, see that. Right. Or you can't tax that. But if everything is digital, which we got central bank and currency going to go online, he can, like, uh, they can come to me and question me, like, why did you give $20 to buy you made that, that You made that transaction at 1041 Friday, you know, November 11th. They he start to question me about that. Like I said, they want to uh when they're with the precept, he, he wants to be like God. He wanna know everything, he wanna see everything. Right now they don't have that ability, but with technology, they can get that ability. It's gonna be digital and it's gonna be the internet of things. So he's also gonna try to use the internet, you know, his technology in order to control the whole public. What they call it, a technocratic government, you know, that, and that's what we're heading to. And like all that scoffing ain't gonna do, you can see it going into that. That the petrodollar collapses, the dollar they give away from dollars, they doing that on purpose. Everybody look at like your average eating might don't know that. They look like, oh, they see it, it's dollar. They doing it like, dude, your people doing that. It's all orchestrated. It's a global economy. Collapsing the dollar will collapse the global economy. That way everybody can go digital. They already got the plan. You know, it's already rolled up. This is all happening, you know, what they, what they looking at? Orchestrated. This plan, they're planning this. They're planning the dollar collapse. So they go to a, that's their excuse to go to a digital system. And the digital system, when they got the digital system going, then I can put a micro CHIP in your body. Once I do that, you're trapped. I got you. That's essentially like branding. That's like me putting a brand to you, you know? And, 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 like, and that's a law in the Bible, which I'm about to go get there right now. I wasn't going to do it, I'm going to go get it. That's why y'all got it. Uh, the Exodus 21. But this is the uh, the law, and one of the few laws that Esau is trying to keep. And this is Exodus 21 and 5. If the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not go out free. 
verse 6. Then his master shall bring him unto the judges, and he shall also bring him to the door, or unto the door of both. And the master bore his ear through with the owl, and he shall serve him forever. So that's the, that, that law right there is what Esau trying to do. He got a digital owl. You know, the owl is like a sharp instrument. You pour a hole in your ear, kind of like a brand. So that's back in our kingdom. When you look at somebody who's got that hole in their ear, like, you know, he's going to always be tied to, you know, whoever owns them. So Esau like, okay, Esau done read that precept. He's like, okay, I want to do that too. I want to make them choose the Israel can't go out free. So I'm going to do it, uh, you know, with who's that, uh, John the Revelator? I'm going to do it the way he said. I'm going to uh, use the micro CHIP and put in your body. I got one for your hand and one for your head. You know, it's the thing I was going to think about that precept that uh, that time, and I was about to be out there, so and y'all about to be out there. I always had a mediator or who, who to report to whenever you needed to, you know, some guidance from from Yahweh, from Yahweh while y'all was out, right? And so those judges were set up by y'all about to be out there, but he saw he, the way he saw Edom is doing it. He, he, you know, just like you said earlier, he the one that he, he uh, sits in the temple of Yahweh about to be out there because he thinks he is God, and so he basically. Showing himself that he is God, though he he is the judge in his eyes, right? So this is why he's trying to snuff out. Another good thing, he's trying to snuff out the Holy Scriptures right there. He's trying to be like, I am God, and so therefore I'm the judge. And so if I say that you can have this circle forever, then but you know, it's you know how that process goes. But that goes back to you know the words of Yahweh about the Yahweh. Why they're trying to snuff out the words? Then we're gonna I'm gonna go to Revelation 13 and 15. And the reason he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So they said this MOTB, which is the image of the beast. You know, if you decide you don't want to get that, he's all going to go ahead and try to delete you, man. Because he doesn't like you can make it without these devils. I asked such as did. You don't need technology to live. You know, it'll be rough, but you can make it. And he saw I want you to have that idea that you can make it without a system. He wanted to wear it. Hey, it's the system or nothing. That's how you gonna do it. System or the end of this gun barrel. That's how you gonna do it. And now they gotta say they're gonna do guillotine. If you off in the in the camp or if you don't want to go, they're gonna take you to that hey, the guillotine off with your head. And that's, you know? that's, that's one of the powers of Yah about you out shock. But what he said, I kill it, then I make a lie. And that goes back to Esau Eden because you got that God complex. He thinks he is God. So this Revelation, uh, uh, Revelation 13 and 15 said he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. So we see that image of the beast coming online right now with all the wars. Uh, the, uh, Elon Musk, Neuralink, that's they giving power to the image of the beast. It's powered by what? Artificial intelligence. You know, it's going to be digital technology. And I'm going to read verse 16. And he calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and fine, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So that's where the marks is gonna go. And it's already on planet. did plenty of lessons. Brothers did plenty of lessons where you got the, the device going in your hand. They already promoted it in China. They already got it in their hand. And then we got Elon Musk got one to go in your head. And there's other companies as well that's doing the same thing. And look, here go the kicker right here. That's why it's because nobody tell me they was what the pump said was. Revelation 13 and 17. And then no man might buy or sell. Say that he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So when it said you cannot buy or sell, that's economical right there. That's when I knew this thing was about money. That's how I mean, remember me and you, we knew what it was before we was going, got in uh, Great Millstone. We knew it was going to be something like that. You got a lot of camp talk about, oh, it's sin, like regular sin, like you eat pork or something. Or it's uh, sleeping with white women, embargo, uh, it's a spiritual mark. No, man, this thing is physical, man. And it's going to go into the money. That's why they got central bank digital currencies going into play. Because you cannot buy or sell, say that you had that micro CHIP. They will come up to where, you know, you're going to scan your hand. They're already doing that. They test for the net with Amazon, pay with your palm, other places. They already tested these things out. So if you ain't got that, the little, you know, the little king thing, the scan with your hand, and they'll be like, hey, man, you come with some cash, you're like, man, we don't take care of that paper. That ain't good no more. What is that? Now you might as well, you know, go. Make you a fire with that. You know, we don't take that. We need that, you know, the Fed, whatever system they're going to call it. You know, whatever that they're going to use. And you got to have that, you know. And they doing that. Like, the dollar collapsing is going to bring that system online. Because the dollar is the reserve currency of the whole world. 
So if the dollar collapses, the whole world's economy collapses. And then what are they gonna do? Let's just go this. So everybody got now these kids got their disappearance going, Jamaica got their going, uh European countries got their going, China got the Yuan. Yeah, they got theirs going yeah. too. It's online, South El Salvador. Yeah, yeah. They got yeah. theirs online. Everybody going digital, man. So they ready for the collapse to come. They, it was scheduled to, to, to fall. And it said, read verse 18. It says, Here's wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. You know what man that is. He saw Edom. That's his stuff. And his number is 603 score and 6. 666 gonna be on that barcode. Every device gonna have a barcode on it. And, and all that's gonna be numbered. So you're gonna have it on your device, whether it be in your head, in your hand. If you take it, you know, you're gonna have Esau's number. That's his brand. He's gonna stand for you. have a, a UPC number. You know, you are idle. An IP address. You know, you you in the system now. They might, hey, when you get hit with that, they might say you no longer human being. They might classify you as something else. Humanoid. Yeah, something like that. They're gonna like, well, you have no longer the rights. Human beings get this right, but since you took my micro CHIP, you are now this. And this, we do it like that. And you only get this right here, and if not, terminate it. You they know? already said it about people that took the juicy juice. Yeah, so they say you no longer human juicy juice, or you lost a little right. Woo, that's a lot of people in my family. You know, a lot of people that took that. See, if you, so that means if you got to the juicy juice, he's all gonna do what he want to do with you. He's gonna feel the right to have that. So you ain't got no more human rights. That's that's, that's crazy right yeah, there. Yeah, that's crazy, ain't it? That's crazy. And they probably don't even know it yet till he decides, you know, call it in. Like, now nah, you done took whatever number they got on it. <laughs> so you this, you got a report here, you're, you're no longer human. I bet that's gonna people get offended when they get told that. When the police show up at the door, whatever little squad they use, whatever number they got. Because when you think about that that number, you know that. One nine, that's our military. You know, remember they called it the corona at first, then it went to that number. I'm like, that's military. So they might knock on your door. Hey, you done took this, you part of this. You gotta go here. You gotta be quarantined. Oh, you refuse? They're gonna show up with some drones. Have little robots come up, you know, little robot pull his gun out. <laughs> you know, you gotta report. If not, hey, you got to have a shootout. You with all them. they all got like a Bluetooth number that come up. So you got you, the love, yeah, they said that IP number. Yeah, you ain't got no IP number. number, you might get shot. And look, with that number, man, that might send a drone. They drove part trace your IP number. Yeah. So you can't go nowhere once you got the juicy juice. You already, you know, kind of tagged, really. They ain't got to get out the office to get you. They eat gummy pretzels. They send in the office. They press a button. Just and like how they cut your electricity off, they can just cut your life off. Just cut it off, man. Ain't got to leave nowhere. They look up your address, man. Flip it. I used that to come out, huh? <laughs> At the fight with the dog. You like, I ain't putting my dog up. You know, my aunt used to love that, man. They used to have to let you get cut off, and we had a dog in the backyard. But they couldn't cut it off because the dog back there. Now they just, uh, <laughs> flip it. I ain't got to even come out and say nothing. You got the email. I sent you an email. If you don't apply through for hours, your stuff is off. Yeah, that, 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 uh, that, what you just said right there, just ridiculous. It remind me of what uh, King David said in uh, Psalm 56 and 6. I'm going to read the NLT version where it says, uh, uh, Psalm 56 and 6, it said, They come together to spy on me, watching my every step, eager to kill me. Don't let them get away with their wickedness and their anger. Oh, power, bring them down. Mm. That's a good prayer right there. That tells you King David was mighty prophet. Mm -hmm. He talked about what we got to go through now, man. He said they come to spy on us. They do. Everything smart you got in your house is watching you. Your smart TV is watching you. Your new video game system is watching you. Your phone is watching you. And then you got like a smart thermostat. I heard he saw come in and just, he can turn and set the temperature to your house where he wanted to be set to. And you can't even like set to what you wanted to. So you feeling, you know, and whatever he, and he got control of your house. Then I want it to be seven degrees in your house. It's going to be seven degrees in your house. So yeah, you better drop a blanket. You can't reset your stuff, man. I'm like, hey, man, I don't know why I these high bills. I can't turn me no heat on. Oh, no. Nah, then you feel dumb for getting it. They call it smart. It's only smart for you. So. Right. <laughs> it ain't smart for you. You feel like a dummy for getting it. Like, why I get this smart? You know, you got you a smart stool. 
can't Smart, flush it no more. Smart refrigerators. Smart hey, refrigerators. Yeah. Like, you <laughs> like you done ate 2,000 calories. You can't open that suck up no more. <laughs> you on a diet. Like, like that. I don't feel smart for buying this. Now I need some old school. I need the, uh, the J&J appliance refrigerator. Yeah, right. They don't tell me I'm fat. <laughs> you know, you done had enough water today. Hey, little water thing don't work. Right, and uh, verse five, I should have thought they verse five on that too, because it said they are always twisting what I say. That's been their days plotting to harm me. They come together to fire me, watching my every step and eager to kill me. And then, and he said, don't let them get away with it. Their wickedness and their anger, oh power, bring them down. Ooh, oh power, bring them down, master. That's right. Cause King David let you know everything in that shit right there. Mm-hmm. They come to spy on you. Uh. You know, uh, they, they, they got our life, and they always twisting our words. Like back, basically, what what they saying? They always say black Hebrew is like, well, we don't call ourselves black, uh-huh. or they say uh, we a hate group, we hate white people. You know, we all uh-huh. uh, because we say Esau Edom is so called white man, but in the same breath, we say that all all Israel is not Israel. So just because you look like a date, don't necessarily mean that you know you're a part of Israel. You know. You know, yeah. you could be a you know dark, a chocolate color eating mic. They don't but, want the in depth breakdown. They just uh, want they really want to bring us the hate groups that can eliminate us. Right. They want to put us in their their terrorist group. They, and they use like what we say, like, oh, see, they hate, they hate white people. I told you that. They violent. And, they, and, and I they mean, hate military. And this is spot on. That's why he said they are always twisting my words. Like that. Ooh, they ain't so spot on, man. This is why we got to get into the word of God by seeing y'all stuff. And what was that? That scripture? Oh, uh, Psalm 56 and 6. I read the NLT version, but it, uh, it's not. I read the NLT version. Psalm 56. You thought it was verse 5, but it's Psalm 56 and 6. I just want to highlight it right quick. Yeah. What, what they do? They are watching. They want the children of Israel. They want to shed their blood. They want to go back to the 1700s. They just don't want everybody to look at them as if, you know, bad or anything. They want to be the good guys. Uh, He's always got that good guy cover. He want to keep that good guy cover, the narrative, you know. So he has to spin us. We're black. We're bad. Uh, we trying to take away America and things of that nature to make, uh, make us be terrorists. Got to demonize them. Uh, I know that every time they attack somebody, that's what they do. I got to run a campaign to show the world, like, how bad you are. Uh, well, they well, did it to the Muslims. Well, when he saw he didn't do one of his wickedness, he'll try to justify it. And then every time he killed a Jake, they always look up at Jake's background. Oh, he was a game banger. Mm-hmm. You know, looks it like that. Yeah, the blunt is mouth when he ate. Right, right. You know, uh, he jaywalked way back when he was 12. <laughs> you know, and then, and then when, uh, when they eat him, I do it. They putting up good pictures of him, him taking pictures with him and his family, making trying to paint him in a good light. Yeah, he's just disturbed. Yeah, he had a hard uh, upbringing. He's, uh, he's mentally ill. God, yeah, there it is. Mentally ill. That's the main one of you. That's what happened. He just he's gonna be okay. He needs uh counseling. You know, Jake, shit, you going to jail? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They might want the death penalty depending on what you did. Uh, you know. They do that with with um drug court too. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. back in the day, you grandma get caught up in the house, she going to jail too. Yeah. Now they just give them drug court, go to class. Yeah. That's how my uncles got got off of uh, smoking crack. They just went to jail. Nowadays, you got uh plants where they giving them the heroin. They talking about he tapering off. I'm like, what the hell? Hey, what they call it? The little health outreach program. Yeah. They, they do that. They, they go to jail. Wow. They gotta go cold turkey. But that's backfiring oh, on Eve because they they want to make it look like they, you know, all that by not sending them to jail and separating them from society and their drug. All they doing is keeping them out here on the streets, you know, and they just getting worse and worse. They until they kill themselves. John, we see it every day. Yeah. Like, you already people say that's pouring on drugs to eat them, Mike. Why right? Don't care about it, man. Like I said, they had to work, man. And it's every week, some watch the decks on YouTube, like it's a day in LA. He sure they got a whole community, a whole community, like a city almost full of tents. Everybody homeless. I'm like, God, see, like, they don't let you know your people is not on the what is. He just walking. And it's he says it's a whole city full of tents, man. A big homeless drug community. It's like, hey, not to live dead when you can feel it, man. He's not, he saw this. I wouldn't want to be there, man. It's not no place to be. 
talking about Trey Bond and Demons right there. God, God. So right now, hey, about to get, it's about to hit gears, it's about to switch gears. He's all gonna collapse that dollar, and that's gonna make everybody just, you know, go straight, you know, eight straight go crazy. He's all gotta get everything in place for this initial uproar that's about to happen. That dollar collapse because a lot of people don't want to go into this new system. And like, you know, he might be bugging out right now. I did a lesson now. He he saw bugging out over McDonald's. So imagine when that dollar collapse. He saw going, you know, if he had two thousand dollars in the bank and they tell him it ain't working no more, he saw might get the la la la, you know. I'm gonna come with this right here. This is James 5 and 1. Go to now, yea, rich man, and weep and howl for your miseries, so that shall come upon you. Verse 2 Your riches are corrupted, and your garments moth easy. So, hey, a lot of rich men about to weep, man. All your Wall Street dudes about to go crazy. He got about 500K in the bank. He's about to go zeroed out, and he's not used to going without. He's got a silk spoon in his mouth all day. His whole life, uh, that's his hedge fund money, trust fund money. So when they go to zero, you know, hey, they whole family's at risk. So anybody that's caught out in traffic with him, you could he saw off in traffic, he just lost two hundred thousand dollar class. He might just come out, you know, and just gun down your whole car. So we got to be real circumspect and on the watch on what and like not just Esau Jake too, two third Jake. You know, he, Ray Ray used to put the money to his ear. So if he can't do that no more. He got a little, uh, you know, 45 in his purse. He might pull out this blam on you because he lost some money. A lot of uh, dudes need money to even get something. So they go to zero. You know, they love that's my whole life is gone. I can't get with it. I can't eat. You know, but I got the shotgun in my trunk. I might just light somebody up just because, you know, I lost my money. So hey, initial dollar crash is going to be a big shock. It's going to be a big, oh. You know, for us, it's going to be nothing. We know it's coming. We're going to be fine. But the outside world, man, they're going to be running around the streets going crazy, man. You're going to hear about the hollering and screaming. You know, people going to be fighting their people, you know. I had two in the black. You're going to see that? Hey, I wouldn't want to work in the bank right now. Who I wouldn't want to work in the bank. They, the bank's going to be the first ones. They're going to do what they call it, a bank run. I ain't got your money. Man, they're going to come up there like, you better have my money or else. So a lot of people at banks, that's when the first people, the, uh, the security going to be at, they're going to be at banks. We gonna run up in the banks to AK like, hey, AR, like you better have my money. You better have my money. The money's supposed to be insured. And they all like, we ain't got it. You know, I got a uh, my bank did a switch over for a whole week. You know, I couldn't get no money out the bank. I couldn't even use the ATM to get no money out. They said report to your financial institution. So my bank, my money was locked up. You know, thank the Lord, I had a little money, you know, left over. I made it through, but I found that everybody didn't make it like that. I just found this out. They worked at Friday. The reason my bank got more security and it's got uh they did more uh renovate i thought it did it they got more money i found out that uh he might do a monotone cocktail at the bank because he couldn't get no money out you know i found that through another eating might at work i'm like that's gonna get an increase you know that's just a week you know he's gonna try to burn the bank down you throw a monotone cocktail i didn't think people still doing that no more they say he threw a monotone cocktail at the bank Hey, he in jail right now. They said he got film and everything. He tried to burn the bank down, but they couldn't get no money. That's about to be real serious when they like decided, like, hey, we ain't using cash no more. Dollars is gone. <laughs> I want to tell you, uh, maybe we can work out a deal. We transfer your money to digital credit. We transfer it over. And some people might be like, nah, nah, you better get my cash right now. I gave you cash. You better get my cash right now, or, you know, I'm about to light this shotgun up. That's how they're going to handle it. I will. I'll call and say I want to work at the bank. Everybody gonna be hating you. Everybody gotta do like what's that little picket lines where they be defending them from crowds of people to get in the bank to get the job. They had them little lines. You know, it's got to be crazy. And that can happen as quick as what next year. Beginning of New Year's, we can see that you know in effect. You know, the banks they already since the bank already done bellied up. You look at J.P. Morgan losing accounts. Wells Fargo losing accounts. Man, people is not going to, hey, a lot of rich men going to be howling, crying, boo-hooing like a little kid because they broke, you know? So that's their precept about to come into play. Future prophecy. I'm going to read verse 3. This is why. You know, that dollar is, is, you know, folding up. This is James 5 and 3. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. They shall eat your flesh with fire. Yeah, he treads together for 
for the last days. And the gold and silver tanker, that U.S. dollar, is tankered, man. It's done. It's kinked up. It's all messed up. They should have never put it to the, the, the oil anyway. That was dumb anyway. Should have always kept it back with gold and silver. Those are precious metals. They show you he saw not sport. And they want to collapse the dollar anyway. So they took it off the gold and silver standard and put it on the petro, the oil standard, and now it's just no good. Everybody's like got other oil suppliers. So now they that dollar, the the uh, the, the technique they use to make everybody to use their money, everybody's going around that. That's some sanctions that they're going around. Because every time the US got a problem, somebody they sanction. And they sanction you with what? They use the petro dollar. So now the country like, okay, you're gonna do that. We're gonna come together with our economy. We're gonna back it with, with gold. And now what? So that's the hey, it's canker, man. Throw it out, no good. And it's eating their flesh too. Because your Wall Street dudes, they feeling it right now. Their whole living is based on Wall Street. They got about 300, three, three million in stocks and bonds. Um, they watching that number go up and down. They need that petrol dollar to stay up. That's their whole life depending on. They watching that. You know, like they life on the line, man. They bricks coming in. That's them howling like, no, nah, they don't want bricks to come in. So they they arguing at the U.S. like, man, y'all need to go to war. Why y'all not going to war? I need y'all to go to war to keep the, you know, the money going, the dollar going. They all like, man, we ain't doing it yet, man. We're going to let it collapse. We ain't going to go to war to somebody do something we don't like. But, hey, we, we standing back. It's like they're standing back. We're watching the dollar down. That's why you got these uh these politicians, these lower-level uh, Edomites, Illuminaries, they going crazy right now. They're like, what? You going to let the dollar down? No, man, no, you can't do that. You're supposed to fight. And I thought, and the, the top elites looking like, you know, it is what it is, homie. <laughs> you better uh, get that micro CHIP. I heard Elon Musk got a good, you know, good old neural link, you know. Go down there and get that neural link. Give me good. they like, I don't want to do that. Like, I don't care what you want. Go do it. Nope. I'm going to read verse 4, too. Because it said that he treasured together for the last days. Everything he saw, God, he about to cough it up. So really, you think about it, even the elites is scared too. They like they see the chariots, they see your house shot coming on the way, and they scared. They like, oh shoot, they ain't worried about no money. They got all the money, all the resources. The, the elites, they looking at your house shot coming. That's what got them scared. Like, oh shoot, is my space force in place? Y'all got the photon cannons? <laughs> is they online? <laughs> you know, so they scared. You know, and all the money they got because they know y'all shot coming to make them give it up. He gonna knock the Mario coins out of each office. <laughs> And we gonna scoop everything up. They, they scared, man. All of the elites are scared. Your middle class Edomites, your politicians, they scared. And now your working day Edomites are scared. All the nation of Esau is trembling right now. You know, two thirds are scared. They, you know, they they attached to Esau. They're like, oh, shoot, Esau's scared. Master's scared. I'm scared too. Only one's not scared is us in this truth the house today. We looking like, oh yeah, we rubbing our hands together. We waiting on it to happen, like yeah. Let that sucker collapse, man. We, we waiting on this to go down. Cause we got faith in our power. Y'all about your shot gonna take care of us. We don't want, we tired of living up East South system. It's, it's, it's uh, oppressive, man. We gotta go to work. We gotta work two jobs to get by to pay bills. Uh, inflation is stupid. Uh, You got alphabet agenda coming in. Everything is just decrepit, man. Plus everything polluted, all your food is GMO. So we want East South system to go down. We don't realize, yes, we getting excited. Like when we see y'all shot coming into place, we excited. Everybody else in the world is mourning. We are we the only ones happy about the coming of your how about y'all shot. So we see the kingdom of heaven coming. So we over we over cheering. You know, we like a like a, a fan, a concert. We cheering before you know the main act come out. You know, we hear the theme music going off. You know, you hear that theme remember Stone Cold theme music go off before you show up on the rock. Everybody go crazy, like, oh shoot. Oh, sure. Who gonna be Stone Cold Stunner? Where are you coming? That's us right now. We that music going. And what's that music? The prophecy. You know, the doctrine going out. That's that music getting louder and louder, too. At this point now, like, I'm looking at Bishop Nate, like, hey, man, it's way past June, and I see micro CHIP. I see the microchips. So, like, what you got to say now? I bet the people in the congregation are like, hey, man, I think you got it wrong. I think they got it right. What you gonna say now? Hey, that dude sweating bullets. He trying to see how he gonna spend his life. Like, hey, what can I say now? I done said sin. I done said Jesus. I said ain't no microchips. And like, where they at? Now everybody like, I see him. They're gonna Elon Musk right here. Look, 
They showing they put it in right here. So now what you gonna say? Now quite that's why they starting fights. <laughs> Everybody questioning them on they on their doctor. They're like, let's go out here and fight Palestinians. Yeah, Don't worry right, about that. Just just to distract you from what we said years ago. Huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> go out here and fight for the Lord. They up and start fight. Oh, did y'all see I seen it this morning. I can uh Sakari going out to colleges and fighting Palestinians too. They nah, they doing the same is. thing too. Yeah. They follow not crimes, you know. I'm like, oh Lord, hey, say that's hey. Say they hey, them gimmicks has gotta come out. The boss is speaking loud. I gotta don't worry about that. I said that. Cause everybody probably putting on their uh their garments. Like, hey man, I see micro CHIP. I, I I heard a lot of stuff about the money going digital. I heard a doubt was about the crash. Hey man, you know what? Hey, I've been watching Great Millstone. You know, I'm about to uh take off my IUIC garment. I'm over at Great Millstone, Pauses and Elfie. You know, uh, knock out a whole group. He had a whole camp fall out and come to the, uh, the brothers in the shoe. Great Millstone. Hey, this is time to get right, man. Don't have no pride trying to stick to no, no off camp. HOI, come up out of there, man. GOC can come up out of there. You know, I think GOC be teaching that, but they just off. They off. But if they teaching that the, the, the MOTP is not the micro, you know, the, the, the C hip, the CHIP, get away from that camp. They ain't got a hey, spirit of prophecy is not with them. And they gonna get you messed up. Right now they making their camp, they making them everybody go out and fight. You know, you're gonna be on film fighting Palestinians. <laughs> and that way, and then he's off the label you as a violent terrorist group. And he can lay everybody out. The Palestinians, <laughs> the black Hebrew Israelites that's out there. And he's gonna go out and straight sweet sweet food. You know? So hey, double honors apostle elders with great millstone, man, for giving us this 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 hundred percent truth. Now it's in the play, man. With, hey, since me, I'm saying that, I gotta go get this. So this coming to mind. Have a code two and three. But the vision is yet for a point of time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it should surely come, it will not tarry. So, hey, it's tarrying, but it's really coming. We talk, we can't talk about Elon Musk enough. He got people lining up by the thousands to get, you know, the thing in them. You know, so that's the, it's talking. You know, the money going digital, at the same time he doing that, the dollar collapsed. Now they're talking about central banks, digital currencies, all coming into play. You know, it's going to come into play at that point in time. We saw, you know, ready to, you know, make it mandatory. They're going to put it on the news. You know, they might come with a, a C20 event. Oh, we got this out there. Go get this, the juice. Go get the juice. And once you get the juice, go get your micro CHIP all at one time. Just go boom. Boom, like a one-two punch. Blam, 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 blam. This in this hand, that in that arm. Now you're ready. And it's going to come at a point in time at the end. It's your speak at the end. Like like you said earlier, but we uh, can't tell me you talking earlier. You said your parents, everybody everybody know we at the end. The Esau's came. Even Esau tell me. I can't tell me the YouTube video, TikTok, they're watching. they like, we at the end. It's over with. Everybody know it's for the two-thirds. Yep, they the only one. <laughs> only one, though, no. Esau no. Uh I say some two thirds no, because I know some some people they ain't the TikTok, YouTube, they ain't even true. Yeah, yeah. They the, bugged out and the they know that know they're probably gonna get it. Yeah, they yeah, probably they know, gonna get it. Yeah, yeah they know we at the end. Everybody know we at the end. It's about it, it's universal now. We at the uh, end. Esau telling you, the elites is telling you, and they like we got a plan, global reset, there we go. Because we're at the end. You tell by like we read that person earlier, the music is garbage. Entertainment, the movies is garbage. I think that Marvel's movie just flopped spectacularly. Everybody knew it was gonna flop. They can't make good movies no more. Uh, people ain't even watching sports like they used to no more. They up here trying to make some way to make you watch sports. The athletes don't want to play ball no more. You got dance hard switch teams and about to start crying and do low management. Oh man, my knee hurt. I gotta sit out the whole year. They don't want to play no more. They trying to get their family and stuff together. I heard Kyrie Irving say it's more things more important than basketball. So, you know, he's trying to get his stuff together. He's bugging out. You know? What, what did uh, Watch on this time this year so I won't get fined? Yeah, they, they said they know it's over with. They don't even want to do what they do. They, they, they play basketball like they're not inspired. You watch them? Hey, basketball like rec center now. Everybody's running down court, shoot threes, and run down. It's horrible now. Yeah, like ain't that the playoffs? 
That's because it's horrible. Y'all watch, I watched the game of basketball, man. It's like wreck center. You just run down, shoot a three. Rebound, run down, shoot a three. Ain't running play. It look horrible now. I'm like, ain't nobody want to watch this stuff. I'm like, I was going to play 2K to play. Watch real basketball. The game is better now. You know? Football, you can't hit no more. It's flag football. You know, they uh, they get flagged for hard hits now. And it just look horrible. They say they, they plan not to get hurt. They trying not to pop their little ACLs. They out there tiptoe dance. It's like walkthroughs. It's horrible. Like, if you grew up in the 90s, watching 90s basketball, football, this stuff you watching now, you be like, man, what is this? You know, this dude ain't running full speed. They out there tiptoeing. You know, so we at the end. Books ain't good no more, I'm hearing, you know. Magazines going out of business. Nothing is the literature. Everything is downhill, man. Hey, hey, you, you, without a doubt, you write about the magazine. But they, at my job, that's what we went. That's how they uh, got most of their uh, they business before the magazine, especially in the night. But they used to, we got this chef where you got where you got to organize all the magazines before you take them out to deliver. And they used to be, the chef used to be full and they used to have them on the floor. Now, now, it ain't like that. They, they ain't like it. They ain't good no more. Plus, AI was right. And yep. you can tell AI was right. Yep. Like, this ain't got no soul. This don't even sound good no more. Now, now they got email. You know, email. That's where they get all the, do all their advertising now. Yeah, they ain't order. Who, who still read Ebony Magazine? All right. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know what I'm saying? That's, the, that's something to roll the cigarettes with. Maybe the older generation. They still be getting them catalogs down the holidays and stuff. Nah. But ain't no young people getting them. No, 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 ain't nobody no, no. hardly reading them. That's just something they just have, you know. Said you look, it's like a paperweight, you know. I ain't seen that's, a jet in decades, the, that's the bro. water, rolling up to kill the flies. <laughs> man, I ain't reading that stuff no more, man. We at the end. I ain't seen a jet in so long. I can't remember where the beauty page is. You know what I'm saying? I used jet to know the number, the page number. I don't even remember what that was. Everybody I ain't... read jet magazine. <laughs> <laughs> See, I ain't seen a jet man. They might be collecting items now. Yeah, like got a old one. <laughs> you know? They, they had the, the one, the, the limited edition one. Cause where we at? We at the end. Video games no good no more. I'm hearing the video game nerds complain all day. The systems ain't nothing but rip off. Now you buy a new system, you got ripped off. <laughs> That's how you get it. It, it. it ain't nothing but a rip of the uh, the old system that you just had. With a more glitchy game, right. it's gonna be slower. We got an update by 50 times. Yeah. <laughs> about to catch a fire, so we got bugs. Yeah. God, you know, blowing up, overheating. Game, you only got about a couple games. Only make like 10 games for the new systems a year, and it's a bunch of remakes. Call of Duty 15. Uh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all over with, man. Everybody packing up what they doing when it's over with. You cash out. Press the button, you pull your money out the machine. He's on pulling his money out. All his businesses, they're closing up. That's why these stores are closing up. In a minute, hey, it's, everything going to be ordered online. Ain't going to be no go to Walmart or go to Target and get it. You know, they got like, we had a store when we was younger, Toys R Us. Ain't no more of those. They're trying to bring them back. It's over with, though. Everything's about order. So going to the store is going to be a thing of the past. Gonna be on order. They cashing out. And look, I tell you, I can just hit me right there to the spirit. All these protests when they destroying buildings, yeah. he's talking to use that excuse like I ain't doing no more storefront. Everything is online. They tore everything up. That's all your Black Lives Matter protests, your Palestinian protests, the, the uh, all y'all little people up there. Uh, what they call the smashing grab? Yeah. Your little smashing grabs. We're not doing stores no more. And they are gonna blame it. It's your fault. The consumer. And then people gonna bug out on that. I've been in the house too long. I gotta get out the house. I've been. So I got something for you. You know, that micro CHIP. Like go to the go to the camp. Especially if you got the juicy juice in. Cause right now, hey, we gonna say you ain't human no more. We ain't told you that. But you got your human rights up. You didn't read the fine print. Let me show you. You know that's gonna be an uproar. A lot of people ain't gonna. They gonna go curse. A two third nigga Jake ain't got the truth. He ain't gonna give a damn. He gonna grab his little do a do to do dirt. You know they trying to say we this and we that bang on them. And they, hey, it's gonna be a lot of blood shed, a lot of death. That thing gonna come in by a lot of blood. 
Especially because there's going to be a lot of resistance. Lil Ray Ray going to fight. Uh, we talking about Volcano Open Up. Very few Edomites going to fight. Esau don't fight. Like all them little hard Melissa groups with somebody for camp, they not gonna fight. They're gonna go get it. They will be getting the micro CHIP. The biggest participant in getting the micro CHIP gonna be Edomite. They talk that hardcore stuff, but let me let you know, y'all, Charlotte, they're gonna do it. They're gonna comply. It's their system. And then they once they do it, they're gonna convince you to do it. They're gonna be like snitches. They're gonna ride by. Oh, uh, little Ray Ray ain't got the, uh, they're gonna, what they call it, Karens. All the Karens gonna be calling like, uh, he ain't got that micro CHIP. You ain't got it. They're gonna be caught that way following you in your car. So watch out, they're gonna be your biggest enemies right there. It's gonna be Esau. We got a hot hop over here, and they ain't got it. It's a whole house. Yeah, and she's gonna be on the phone. They're gonna be filming you. I see them right there. See if they need to start the fire. See? See the niggas start the fire? They, they're not just you gotta just comply with the system. You know? They're not doing it. The system says this. Like they say, uh, resisting the rest. Damn, scan somebody who ain't got no scanning. Like, okay, there you go. They ain't scanning. Yeah, so we coming. We gonna repo. We got it. Got it. Yeah. Now, that's a good movie, too. Watch that movie, y'all. It's probably a good movie. That's how they gonna do it, man. These parents gonna, hey, call up, snitch, uh, record you. Because Esau, they always like, what you saying? Did Jake get uh, unalive by the police? He should have cooperated. Yeah. Esau said that all the time. He's not gonna say that when the micro CHRP roll out. They're gonna tell you, you should go get it. And you can still live in the system. They're gonna come to you like, they're gonna say, like, they're gonna be like the advertisers. They're gonna be the ones uh, selling it. They, they're not doing this. It's not that bad. You just gotta get the micro CHRP and you'll be okay. You'll be okay, Bayon. I'm just telling you, it's a good thing. You just go get it. And you like to bite. I, I got it. And it really is more convenient. It's really convenient. And that's how they're gonna pitch it to the people. How they get life to the image of the people like that. No, that's how they're gonna pitch it right there. Esau's gonna be your biggest enemy, two thirds, your the family. Sambos, yeah, your coons. Yeah, that, 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 the scripture said those in your own household will be your, your biggest foes. You'll be paraphrasing. Yeah, yeah, they that, did that, it with the juicy juice. And that, that's beautiful that you said that too, because uh, if you really think about it, during that C19 situation, a lot of people couldn't even go visit their grandma unless they had that juicy juice. You know, unless they went and got that, you know, that uh, inoculation. Nah, got that, that, that juice, man. Same thing. I had a lot of family calling me up, uh, uh, harassing me, uh, telling me I'm a bad parent because I ain't giving it to my children. Right. Like, yeah, I, had to, I had to fight through all that, man. My family, you know, you know my family. They right, big right, advocates right. of that. They was all like, you better go get that. You better get it right now. I know you a better father than that. I had to hang tough, like, man. Now, the same ones that went on to me like that, like, I wish I wouldn't have gotten it. I'm like, I'm trying to tell you, little hitting yourself, man. Now they all got bad help. I got a cousin that had a, uh, she had a cardiac arrest from that, man. And she's like, I think it was that. I ain't been right. I people tell me, friends, I ain't felt right since I got it. I'm like, I know. And I wish I wouldn't have did it. I'm like, this year, a couple years ago, you was all on my cases. I wouldn't go get it. You know, but grandma was like, I was the biggest fool in the world, big dummy. You know, you ain't going to get it. But now, now they all like, I ain't, I ain't doing it no more. I'm like, you said that last time. I got, you saw I got to do is apply a little pressure, and you'll go get it. Just the pressure, just like you did. And you know, it was crazy. It wasn't even real. It wasn't no real pressure besides the fact that on the news, a lot of people were losing their job. But we, you know, and that that wasn't necessarily pressure because how many times we'd have been fired and ended up getting another job. But they, that, but they, it was just, it's just the fact that they used the fact that you can lose your job. And, and just to entice you to go get it, it just shows you how simple-minded they really are, or or how much lack of faith they really had as well, too. Because they used spirit. You know, Everybody like, know they went and got it, got it, because they really thought that if they caught what he was talking about, right. they was going to, you know, be I, unalive. I had jobs way that for me. I was like, they were like, yeah, you got your, 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 your inoculation? I'm like, no, well, you need to be on the I ain't getting nothing. Was, well, we're waiting for you if you want to come. I'm like, Nah, yeah. I, 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 I. Yeah, and see, and, and, see, that's how you apply pressure. Uh, you didn't fold. You like, I ain't getting it. And then, that's see, most people thing. like, oh, shoot, I got to get it. Yup. And they go go get it. They don't put up no resistance. The other thing is this. Uh, uh, but when they mandated it, it wasn't in the law, but they put it out on the media as if everybody had to get it or else. But when you really look deep into it, that's why the scriptures say, be not ignorant of anything great matter or small. And so when you look that up, you be like, oh, the, basically the, uh, 
they didn't they it was a temporary basically it was that they they, they only gave them uh temporary oxygen what do they call it uh Temporary yeah, temporary authorization. Yeah, that's what it was. They emergency use. Emergency. Yeah, that's what it was. And that's it. So when you look up to it, it was just, it was just emergency use. It wasn't uh, mandatory or it wasn't uh, approved. That's what it was. They, they, said they it, never put it in the yeah. law. It was never like yeah, it wasn't the law. Uh, it was basically FDA approved, but, but the media put it out as it was FDA approved. Yeah. Emergency use FDA approved. Right. It wasn't like through the law because they can't really approve nothing like that right based on how they made the laws how they cut you that's why they wanted to do away with the law uh, whatever martial law if they wanted to do it like that but they had already what they did back in the 1700s they couldn't do it like that and the only the what the constitution says you know they digging up their stuff really if you did your due diligence to be vigilant like scripture say uh, be vigilant due diligent and uh stand stiffly you could have avoided all of that you could avoid avoided all of that because it was only for a minute now now they're not eased up I got my numbers, I got my money. Now you don't hear nothing about that. Everybody's still working. And, and the crazy yeah. thing is, you know, that's when I was this, this when I was still like just buying stocks and bonds, you know, I pretty much stopped. But during that time when you actually look up the stocks of those, you know, T19, you saw how, how much it went from five dollars to a hundred dollars a share. Two hundred. Two hundred, yeah. Yeah, so and that was that that's how you know it was a quick money grab. For, for those uh, people that was at the top. Yeah, so, that, and look, that was like a precursor for what we're about to go through now. Mm-hmm. That was a, that wasn't nothing but a telegraph on how you want to issue out the micro CHIP. Right. Now this devil got numbers. Now he has data on, okay, this group right here, they'll go for it. All I got to do is run my, my media and they'll, they'll do it no hands bare. Now this group right here, they didn't go for the juicy juice. I might have to, you know, I'm gonna put some soldiers to him. Because yeah, his, his, his soldiers is limited. His yeah, like they, uh, they color list you said they either gonna be on the red, uh red, black, or blue. They list. got the list is filled out now. Yeah. They they went out and gave them the list. Because everybody got the juicy juice. They're now in the yellow list. Mm-hmm. You'll go for the system, you'll comply, you're obedient. The ones they didn't get the juicy juice, now you on the other colors. Now they want to see are you red or you blue? If you blue, you know I might can work with you, you red. Hey, I'm about to stick my task force. And we're gonna just off them. Man, and, that, and the blacklist for sure. He, he's leading this stuff. And you, what you did read is what the Revelation 13 and 12, because you say he gives life to the image of the beast, and it causes many of those that get killed who will not worship the beast. You know, that's that's who that's what that red list is for right there, man. And this is us, this is us one of you. We letting you know, like, hey, hey, these devils about to come down on man. They're gonna have that great wrath, man. And the time is short. They chop somebody's head off, man. It's gonna be a lot of people go from the red list to the blue list. They gonna yeah. start cooperating, my yeah. sister. And they're like, you know, he's all gonna he gonna do it. Like he did old school. He's gonna line everybody up. So you can see Johnny go up there. Johnny want to be a, you know, hard. I'm gonna watch you. You gonna watch Johnny's head get lopped off, and they are gonna come to you on the little bullhorn. You gonna get that micro C H I P, and that's and everybody gonna get the micro C H I P. He's gonna take, take take a step forward. If you don't step, he gonna make that signal. Grab the next one and put his head off in here. Uh, you know, and that's the penalty for not getting it. It's gonna be pretty much like how they was they was doing that bug breaking. They gonna you know make everybody they watch. Te- yeah, make everybody watch. You you're gonna be next. You people gonna sure. start cooperating. And that's horrible, man. That's horrible. That's me. It's time to like sharpen up the that's horrible. Like we ready to stand stiffly up now. So I'm like, I'm already know you about to come meet hard body. Yep. I'm not about to go for your micro CHIP. You got faith. So he's about to drag me to that sucker, man. I'm about to go out, you know, you know, kicking and screaming, Lord willing, get that spiritual power, because I'm not about to go for what he's all talking about. He already know it. I think they already got me that he's a red list for him. Straight up. Straight up. That dude a red list. He ain't, I don't even feel like banking with that dude. Yeah, I think all of the people that's in the truth, I don't think we got a choice because of the fact that we got the knowledge. And they're going to want to kill list. that. They yeah. don't want nobody... Ready. You know, yep. We got to get Straight you up, up out of here. Ain't no blue nothing. He might red list. Yeah. Straight up. And see, that's we looking for Isaiah 2019 is up in. You know that stand? I'd like to uh, go get this. Let's get the penalty if you take that micro CHIP. Yep. Yeah.
So this is Revelation 14 and 9. It's going to be the penalty to take that micro CHIP. So might as well stand up out the gate. Because if you take the micro CHIP, you're dead anyway. You just like to land it. And you, might well just you ain't got no dead. hope. <laughs> like right now, we stand up now. At least we got some hope the Lord kick in on our behalf. If you take the micro CHIP, you just done, man. You at the mercy of Esau. So this is Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, and his image and receive the mark in his forehead or in his hand. Verse 10. The saints who drink of the wine of the wrath of your house, which poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he should be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So if you even make it out of Esau's camp and make it past Esau, the Lord said that, hey, you're going to burn up when the nuclear missiles go off. You know, so you still going to get a bad punishment. So the best thing to get resistance or to fight this is to, to put up resistance out the gate. Getting this truth. That way y'all shop can protect you, man. Get to that, what's that, Proverbs 18 and 10? Get to that strong tower. You know, the Lord's name is a strong tower. Get it, set it up now. Build your riches up in heaven now. That way when it comes to you, the dynamic sets in. You know, now you're touching one of his anointed ones. You're touching one of his prophets. And you know what the Lord said about that now. So put yourself in that lot. Set us up for, uh, for protection. Right here, this uh, Revelation 2 and 9. This is the mind that you should be in. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that he may be tried. Ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee the crown of life. Woo! That's the preacher got sticking your mind right there. That's what's going to happen, man. Because he's talking like, oh, he ain't going to get it. And they going to like, like, you watching lessons? You on that list, too. And like you got truth too, they're gonna snatch them up, throw them in prison, you know. And that's what they're gonna be debating on what they're gonna do with us, you know. Yeah, they got you. As <laughs> soon as you like the lesson, oh, you like that, huh? You know, you in, you in, the whole. I, you got know? Over, I know I got over 10,000 lessons I didn't put light on, so like, no, nah, we teach you. Know, uh, yeah, yeah, teaching. yeah, yeah. I talk about the people that follow that be wild, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, the women. Uh, it didn't no work, but like 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 I said, you, you put that shallow arm in there and like it, you in this too. You know, they got evidence on it. That's why I like everything on the internet. They're gonna bring that up. You might be in a interrogation room, like you said, please tell. Yeah, well, and they well, doing well, you like that. They go like they're gonna bring it up on the date. Now you watch the take y'all and you right. like the lesson. I want what, what you know about some uh Hebrew Israelites, huh? Do you feel like you're an Israelite? Do you feel like I'm an Edomite? You know, they're gonna be writing down what your response be. And you be like, yeah, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Like, they're going to whisper to each other. They're going to leave the room. <laughs> and they ain't going to come in there. They ain't going to try to neutralize you. You know? That's going to be your social credit score. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're going to say, your shit way too low. You a 300. Yeah. They like, put you at a zero. <laughs> now, now, since you've been an Israelite, I might bump you to 300. <laughs> you know? So, what's it going to be? You feel like you're an Israelite? Huh? Huh? You know? That's what Esau is going to do. Now, he going to come. Gonna be interrogation rules, man. They gonna like, like, I can show them, find that light. <laughs> like, I had that light, folks. Had that light. And you know, you done messed up, right? And with us, they gonna pull out all our little stuff. Like, man, is that you right there? Is that you, Mr. Yasrala? Okay. I'm gonna eat a mic, huh? Okay, let me show you what, what's that eat a mic do to, uh, to guys that think they eat with Israelites. You know? Might beat you up. Might, might be beating us up in there, you know, with a little bitty club. They ain't gonna do nothing with this. You prove what? Word right. They ah. prove the word of y'all about them y'all time right anyway. Either way it go. They're gonna prove it to be the devil that they is. Exactly. They're gonna set up that dynamic. I'm like, are you mad at me for telling the truth? Whatever's going on here, you mad at me? Go come in the spirit, get hot box y'all shot. That, that's what we have in here. That's what's going on. And hey, y'all and y'all about them y'all child said it, man. He said the serpent is not greater than his master. So if they persecuted me, they'll also persecute you, you know? So that's what you always go into, right? I, you say you got to count the cost. The other apostle of the bar did a lesson about that. You got to count the cost. And so this is the cost of us following this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, this, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, just that count the cost is letting you know that he saw Edom, who is the God of this world, who pretty much controls everything, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The cost is that he's going to come down on you. And he's gonna have great wrath towards you because you know you is a threat to his system. So he gotta take you out. You know, that's the cost right there. Yeah, because that's really to try us. 
No, that's the adversity coming up. The Lord don't like lip service. So he want to know if you're a true believer. The only way I know you're a true believer, I'm going to put you in a very hot situation with the devil threatening your life, and I want to see you going to hold it down. You're going to renounce it. Then I'll know if you got some faith. The Lord going to know then. You still, you know, cussing this devil out. When he got you all held up, gun to your head, you still talk about Hey, still praising me? Oh, yeah. That's, I mean, that's, that's mine right dope, there. man. Because, you know, that's when Doe's do, wife came at him, he was like, uh, the wife said, curse the most high and die. Wow. And what did Doe say? He kept his integrity. That's how Esau going to come at us. Right. You know, put a gun to your head. Renounce it right now or else. You know? You're glad to have that. Your faith got to be so built up that you still talk that noise with Esau. Right. You know? And then, hey, watch the miracles that happen. You know, so I'm going to bring this up. Bring my preach up. I'm going to hit with this. Yeah, so this, uh, this is Isaiah 59 and 19. So it's in a further name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. The devil about to come in like a flood, man. A flood is like overwhelming. You'll come in overwhelming numbers. You in troops, uh, you know, uh, military force, uh, whatever force they're going to come in. They're going to have all kinds of little task force coming in. You know, uh, advanced weaponry. Robots backing them up, AI backing them up, you know. So when they come in, you know, overwhelmed, you think you know they about to get me. The Lord said he's gonna do what? He's gonna lift up a standard up against this devil, man. They go to the spiritual powers. You might make you a chair come in and protect you on your behalf. You might make you uh where they can't see you. Or they little stuff get messed up, computer might freeze up, you know, your name might get swapped and you get sent over here, you know, you get uh released for whatever. You know, they get a uh, mess up. You might be there. Oh, they overlook your house. Your house supposed to get tagged and get kicked in. And they might, you know, it might be a mark. Oh, we already checked that house. Keep it moving. You know, you get that type of uh, judgment salvation. So you said that I, I got one more. Uh, Revelation yeah. verses that I said. Revelation 3 and 10, it says, Because thou have kept the out of the locker, because thou have kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Which I come upon the world, all the world, to try them that dwell on the earth. Yeah, see there, said, behold, you know, keep my patience. What's the patience, man? Keep the word, keep the truth. You keep the patience, man. Say, I keep it from the hour of temptation. It means like you ain't, you ain't got to deal with that. A lot of us like, oh man, what we do next time? The Lord might protect us so cold, like they drove the fifth chapter, where you just took care of real good throughout this whole event. You got food, uh, you got protection. Something like you in a bubble or something. And then after a while, people be like, women, especially women, that's Isaiah 4 and we're going to kick in. Right. They be like, oh man, can I get what you got? Like, you doing good. You got food. Can I get in? You ever heard people talking about, can I get in? Because so you're going to be taken care of. Man, the Lord going to take care of us, hopefully, let you got the situation. Now, first, you're going to get tried. Everybody going to get that MOTV in your face. You know, but the Lord said that hey, you keep the faith in my patience, I'm going to keep you from that. So it's gonna be easy for us to resist that, man. As long as we hang on to our faith, that, that you know, that, 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 that standard right there. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. gonna put that up for us, man. Lord, basically trying to show I got you. If you hang on to cling to me, I got you these troubling times, man. You gonna laugh when he saw come with his fortune. You gonna laugh when everybody out here starving. I ain't eight five days. You over here with some good old chicken and got some greens and whatnot. You over here eating good, getting fat. They stomach touching their back. You're going to be looking at them like, man, I told you I'm in this house. It's right. You're going to surprise these some talking. Our family, you know, that's called. Going to be all like, oh, I'm sorry, man. Let's give me the breakdown right now. Now I want the truth. Give me the breakdown. Like, hey, man, too late. I told you in the truth, you know, a long time ago. You know, now you just on your own. Get away from me, man. You about to get judged. I don't want you around me. And like, like the Lord said, our, uh, our tongue going to clean the roof of our mouth. We ain't going to tell them nothing then. We're going to apply it. I'm getting my blessing. I told you to get yours. You didn't want to listen. You thought it was all spits and yin yang. Some nip yak. You know? Now that the situation happened bad, now you want the truth. That's that too late. The door done closed. We on the ark. We good. We above the flood. I like how the Lord said the uh the enemy come in like a flood. Because he saved no one this family before the flood. So we're gonna rise above it while everybody else about to get drowned out. And that's because they didn't want to hearken, they didn't want to listen. They didn't want to hear prophecy, man. They wanted to believe in Esau instead of believing in Yahweh was shot. So the minute he gonna he gonna honor, you know, the whole elect for believing on him. And all the way like in the scripture say that all the unfaithful done their unfaithfulness, 
All the ones that didn't want to believe, hey, you, you out there, man. Go to Esau to get your, your help. We are not. Esau going to do you. Esau's help is to destroy you. Esau ain't going to do you no good. And we ain't going to feel bad either. We did the work. We got years of my belt doing the work. I told you. Blood ain't on my hands no more, so I'm not about to say and cry. Oh, man, they can't just whoop, whoop. Especially if I did like this. You should have got me through. We told you. I'm like, at this point, I'm looking like you should see this coming. This is the point now. I'm like, it should be no excuse. Dollar crashing. That's a quick testimony, man. I had a conversation with my uh, my cousin earlier, and and uh, she was saying uh, she, she made she basically made an excuse. Long story short, that she was like, well, I guess I have the covering through you, and, and then my mom and dad. And I just you know that basically uh, uh, her saying that she she felt like us doing the work of the Lord will basically cover her. You hit it with work out your own salvation I did. Like you gotta do the work too. Yeah, yeah. You know, no matter what your lot is, you know, as a woman or a man, you gotta do your part too. You can't try to that's basically she trying to get oil off of you. Basically. You know, about your oil, you yeah. got oil. Like she ain't gonna get her oil. Person. Yeah, she's gonna wait to the end. Let me get your oil. Buy your own. Right. <laughs> like, nah, you gonna buy your own. I got my oil. You go buy your own oil. You know? Yeah, and, and, it, and you know, in the conversation that we had is that because you know, I told her we give, I'm getting ready to come out and go out and preach the word. She's like, What you, Jehovah Witness? And I said, No, I ain't no time, Jehovah Witness. We, we ain't the only one to preach the word. Right. And, and then she was like, Oh, so you one of them guys to be out there uh, just yeah. yelling at people. Yeah. And that, that's, that's they all, and that, that goes back to each our sisters because he said they always twisting our words saying we, we coming out here just to yell at people. That's another form of what King David was talking about. So now with that, I'll say that's more than Esau uh, buying off the uh, like Hebrew wife. Right. Because what she's talking about is Naquan, yeah. uh, Sons of Jacob, uh, 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 IUSBK, right. they're the worst. And I and I had to explain, I you said, know? nah, that ain't, that ain't us. We don't do nothing like that, you know. She don't know and the difference. I, I feel we just, we just preach the word. And she don't know the people. difference because she ain't even like dwelled in to, to see her hurt. Yeah. You ain't even looked at all the camps. She ain't considered. With your niece. She ain't even considered. Uh, people she just going off. Yeah. Yeah. She just going off what she's seen from uh I U S K. Any examples she's seen. Right. When well, you got camps, they do that, but they're not the real men of the Lord. Like Great Millstone, we don't handle our conduct our camps like that. But H O I, you know, they do that. Not from not from them do that. Uh, and and, and, that, and that's the truth. And that's, right. that's why this is why it's like this is important. This is why we bring up scriptures like uh, First John four one. Uh, uh, great Millstone. Not every spirit, but try to. Yeah. And it gives you in trust that you see that they are of you, how about the yeah. Basically, you got to try that person to see whether no. they are applying the principles that That's are written the... in the scripture. Yeah, but to get to that, she got his first even consider. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. I do don't consider they heard. They don't consider they, they ain't even thought of it. I know that if you ain't you don't get to consider mode, you would never get this truth. Your first step to get in the truth, you gotta consider who was my people before we went to slavery. That that should be your first question your first thing your going out yeah your first ID. thing hey first you gotta get you know you gotta get your meat on your skin on and they don't do that but on that whole they like life. shit you saw say i'm a black nigga i'm a nigga right. i gotta go out bang on little ray ray because that's what's on tv i gotta you know be a rapper uh, go athletic with that being said, y'all should all make a little bit edifying. We all pray to glory too. How by Shem, how shot by Shem and Dr. Dodge. Farm y'all should all make a little bit of 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 a